Hello, this video is designed to give an overview of how to use special access in D2L. This would be used if you have a student who maybe needs to complete an assignment or take a quiz outside of the normal win window range or time allotment that you've given to the rest of the class. So there's actually two types of special access. We have the one-time deal, which is when, as the instructor, you're giving special access to just one quiz or assignment um, in cases of maybe the student has missed the activity and you want to allow them to make it up, or uh, there's some other mishap. Maybe they're going to be having surgery or something and you want them to be able to take it early. Um, so you're letting them test outside of the normal windows for just that one activity, be it a quiz or assignment. The second one is the all-in-one deal, which is specifically used for quizzes, and this allows the instructor to give the one student special access to all the quizzes in the course um, for extended timing only. And this is particularly useful if you have a student who has ADA accommodations and is getting additional timing on the quizzes, maybe extra 30 minutes, extra hour, whatnot, and you're able to put it on all the quizzes at one time instead of having to do them individually. So let's demo the one-time deal first. So this can be given on quizzes or assignments, but it cannot be given on discussions. And the idea with the discussions is they're meant to be collaborative in nature, so it's not something that is really um, conducive to makeup. Um, also, it has to be done per quiz or assignment, not in bulk which is what makes it different than the all-in-one. Um, with this, you can allow for additional timing, so extra minutes on the exam. Maybe the student's getting 30 minutes instead of 10 minutes. You can also give a special date window. So it might be that they need to take it from uh, between Monday and Wednesday instead of taking it between Wednesday and Friday. So now let's see how this would be set up. So to begin, you're going to go to the quizzes area in D2L, and you're going to do the drop down by the name of the quiz, and we're going to edit this quiz. So of course you'd want to set up the rest of the quiz as normal, but specifically here we're looking under restrictions. So under the restrictions tab, you're going to notice there's some availability here. And if you scroll down, you're going to notice that there is some timing here. So this is for the um, entire class. So here, for example, we have it set up that the students will open it. They can start on the 29th, and they have until the 5th to submit it. Um, once they open it, if we scroll down, they have 30 minutes to complete the quiz. So this is what is applying to all of the students. It might even be that I put in a password that the students have to type in. Um, and that I have to give to them to be able to type in. So this is applying to the rest of the class. So you do want to have this set up. When you are doing an additional special access, this is not what you're going to edit. You're going to leave this all the same. It is important to know that this password will be used for your um, regular session students as well as for your special access students. So this won't change, the password won't change. What's going to change is your availability window and your timing, but it is important to leave these alone for what you want for the rest of the class. So what we're going to do is scroll down and this is where we get to special access. So we actually have two types of special access that we're going to use. For the most part, you're going to use the first one, allow selected users special access to the quiz. And what that means is I'm still wanting the rest of the class to be able to submit between this window using this timing, but I'm just going to give these one or two students an additional access, be it a different time window, a different time limit, that type of thing. If I choose the second, which happens sometimes, this is allowing only users special access to see the quiz. And the, the, the stress here is on only. What that means is the quiz is unavailable to everyone else in the course, and only the students that you're choosing here for special access are going to be able to see the quiz. This happens a lot where we get tickets saying, um, you know, I have a special access for a student, but the rest of the class can't see it. Probably because you've selected this and only those that are um, that you're giving special access to are able to see it. This would be something in terms of like a makeup quiz. Maybe I'm giving them a separate quiz to do and I only want that one student to do it and the other students won't. I don't want the other students to be able to do it. That's in a case when you would use it. But for most cases, you're really just going to choose the first one, which is the default allow selected users special access to see the quiz. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick save on this because I want this information to save for the rest of my students. If I had just put that in, I would want to save first and then I would come in to allow selected users special access 
add users to special access. Then from there, it's going to let me put in the special access for that one or two students. So this is where I'm going to change it. See, it says special access. So this is where I'm changing it for what it was for everyone else um, to what this particular student needs. So it may be that I'm not going to give them a special date range. I'm just going to give them a special time limit. So instead of giving them 30 minutes, I'm going to give them, say, 50 minutes. But everything else is going to stay the same um, because I'm not giving them, you know, a different time window. It may be that I do need to give them a special time window. It may be instead of t uh, testing this time, I need them to test between this time for, you know, whatever reason. And so that is fine um, as well. You can change this or you can change this or you can change both. You can change their start date and end date. You can change their time limit or, you know, just either or one or the other. Uh, the other options that you have uh, the ability to do is your um, assign um, an internal and an alternative late behavior for exceeding the time limit. Most of the time people leave that the same as to what would happen um, by default with the other students. You can also override the amount of attempts this student is allowed. Um, most of the time people just leave it on what was the default for the rest of the students. Um, in most cases uh, you're only editing the time window and the um, time limit. Now notice that there are three different options for changing the time limit. Um, in most cases, say the original time was 30 minutes and I'm giving them 50 minutes, I would just change it here uh, manually. Um, I could have it to where instead of doing the new time limit, I left it on what it was originally and instead I did a multiplier of the quiz time and say, said, well, I want to give them, um, you know, time and a half, so 1.5 and then it would adjust it for me based upon that. Um, or I could say just how much extra time I want to give them. So if I'm giving them 30 minutes and I know that they're supposed to get an extra 20 minutes, I could type it in and it adjusts. So these three kind of work in unison, um, just giving you more information based upon what their new time limit is going to be, um, their multiplier of how much extra time they're getting, and then or just how much straight extra time they're getting, not in addition to their actual regular time. So you're welcome to type in either of these three, and as you see, it auto just it auto adjusted based upon what I put in. So it's um, up to you to decide how you want to configure that. Then if you scroll on down at the very end, this is where you pick the people that are going to get special access. So maybe this is the person that's going to get special access and I add in that special access. So now what I should see is under restrictions, I should see that everyone is getting this time and everyone is getting this password and everyone is getting this time limit. If I scroll down under special access, that is where I see that she is getting this particular time limit on this particular availability. Now, if I had an, an additional student that needed additional timing, no big deal. I would leave this just like it is. Do add users to special access do the same setup maybe this person's getting the same time limit but maybe they have to have uh, or a time window and I, maybe they have to have a different time limit so they'll get um 60 minutes here and then i could scroll down and maybe this person oh this person maybe they get 70 minutes so different than what the other person is getting and then i would choose them and then add that special access. So I can add multiple special accesses, but again, the way to check this is to make sure that under restrictions, what you have here under availability and what you have here under password and timing is what you want for everyone else. And then what you have under special access is what you, what you want specifically for that student. Um, and keep in mind that the password for these students is gonna be the same as what is here for the rest of the class. Then when I get done, I just want to save and close that. So that is how you add the special access, what we call the um, one-time deal, because you saw I did it for just one quiz. I would have to go in and do it for every single quiz as well as for the assignments. So really quickly, let's look at this um, as, it, as if it were an assignment. It looks very similar to the way uh, the quizzes works. So I would go to the assignment area. I would find the assignment that I wanted to give special access to. Um, I would do the drop down and I would edit assignment. 
Then over here, of course, you would want to fill out all this information. But under here on the side, I would see that the start and end date here is for what everyone else is getting. So everyone else is having their assignment due on this date. They don't have a start date, so they can just open it any time, but they have to submit it by this date. And then notice I actually already have someone with special access. So under special access, I would choose manage special access. And I see that one person already actually has special access. So similar to what we saw in quizzes, I can choose the first one, which is the default, which is everybody else is going to have um, to do the assignment during that date range. But it's these students are going to get a special availability. Remember, if you check the second one, the keyword here is only. So in this case, only Robert is going to be able to submit to this assignment area. None of the other students are. But in this case, I want everybody to be able to submit to it. And then um, just Robert or whoever else I add going to have that special access. So I'll choose that, add users to special access, and then I would pick here under special access, I'm picking what this student is going to have. So maybe they have until, you know, this date to submit it. And then I pick the person, save, save and close, and now I see that this is for everyone else, and then under manage special access, these are for my um, additional people. So with an assignment, you're only giving a special date window because it's not timed in, in the sense of when you open it. Um, so you're only adding in a new date window. So I save and close, and now I've added special access using the one-off for the assignment area. So now let's talk about the all-in-one situation. So this can be done only on quizzes, um, not something that can be done on assignments. Um, it can only be used for giving extra timing, so additional minutes. It can't be used for like a special window of time, like giving students the ability to test Monday through Wednesday instead of Wednesday, Wednesday through Friday. Um, with this, you can only give a standard set of extra minutes for all quizzes, um, which can be tricky um, in that, say that I have 10 quizzes in the class, and in, with this, I'm giving them, um, giving this student 10 extra minutes for every single quiz. Um, it's not set up to where you can give for most of the quizzes 10 extra minutes, but then for the final an extra 30 minutes. Um, it's set up to give the same amount of extra timing for all the quizzes in the course. The benefit of this is though, you're not having to do it individually for every single one. You are able to do it in bulk. This bulk special access is actually given in the class list area. So you would go to tools and resources and then class list. From there, you would pick uh, the student and you would choose to edit their accommodations. From here, you see that for quizzes, you're able to give a special time limit. So I'm going to modify the time limit. And I have two options for addressing this. So the first and easy option is just give, give this student this set amount of extra time for every single quiz. So give them an extra 30 minutes on every, on every single quiz. Now it might not be that the original time on this um, is set to be the same. It might be on quiz one, everybody's getting 10 minutes. On quiz two, everybody's getting 30 minutes. On quiz three, everybody's getting 40 minutes. So in that case, whatever the original time is, this student's getting an extra 30 minutes. So on quiz one, if everybody's getting 10 minutes and they get an extra 30 minutes, they're going to get 40 minutes. If on quiz two, everybody's getting 30 minutes and they're getting this extra 30 minutes, then they're getting a total of 60 minutes this student is getting a total of 60 minutes. So you can set this, but this uh, this extra time is going to be a staple for every single quiz. They're going to get this exact um, extra amount every single time. Or you can do multiplier of the original time quiz. So it could be that they get time and a half for every single extra, um, for every for every quiz in the course. So in this case, if they were taking, you know, quiz one and it had 10 minutes, they're going to get time and a half of that. If they are doing quiz two um, and they're getting 30 minutes on quiz two, they're going to get time and a half extra of that. Um, so it's really two different ways of looking at it, whichever one that you prefer. And so with this, um, you would just, the only thing that you can really change here is the time limit. You can't change the window of time. Um, you can't change, um, this is only for quizzes. It's not for assignments, but it does do it for the entire course, which makes it a little bit easier. So we'll save that. 
and then if you notice you'll have this little icon beside the um, the name of the student which lets you know that they do have um, accommodations set in place so it is important to know that if you are a um, if you go in to check the quizzes area um, and you choose any quiz here and you go to the restrictions area that we did initially um, if you have set up that bulk special access under the class list you're not gonna see it here so don't be alarmed if you know you say well I set it up to where they have special access on every single quiz if you did it using the class list area that's where you're gonna see it with that icon you're not gonna see it here now what you can do is say that I have given that one particular student special access um, to all the quizzes I can still come here and give another student just this one-time access it is important to note that giving at special access this way by going to the quiz and going to the restrictions area and setting it up this way is going to trump over anything that you set up in the class list so this one-time deal takes precedence over the multiple times deal um, that we set up so for example if I came here and say that that one student had special access for 30 minutes additionally on all the quizzes but for this quiz I came in here um, and gave them 120 minutes for this particular quiz you see that she's automatically getting this special access using her regular special access here so this is the special access that we set up for all the quizzes just a minute ago in the class list but what I can is actually trump over that by doing this so that is a way to get around all the quizzes she's getting special access for except for one she's getting a little bit more time I can come here and after I set it up on the class list I can do this individual um, extra timing and when I do that it actually trumps on top of it and it lets you override um, their class their their class list special access and let you give them that special access just for that one off um, so again just kind of keep in mind if you give special access using the one-off way um, it's going to trump over their class list bulk access way but that is um, again a summary of how you can give special access to students you can do it in the quizzes area and then in one way you can do it in the assignments area you cannot do it in the discussions area